Hello guys, um, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you spent a lot of time searching the internet, going crazy about your HP desk jet 2540, you're trying to figure out how to print or scan wirelessly, and um, luckily I talked to a buddy at work, I figured out the solution, and I'm going to go through installing it on Windows 8.1. We'll process everything. Um, if you're if you're having down your over a router, depending on what type of router you have, <clears throat> my router was not picking up the signal from my um from my uh HP desk jet T five four zero. So. Anyways, this makes your um makes your uh router more secure. So you're going to your wireless settings, wireless card access list. You're gonna set that up. It means you're gonna have to get your MAC address from the printer, and any device that connects to your wireless network is going to need to be put in here because otherwise, if you're not in here. You're not gonna be able to access your network and that makes it more secure so not just some random person off the street that's good at guessing passwords can get into your network <laughs> um so but once you do that once you install your mac address um we'll run through the whole process of uh installing this printer setup and software so connect new printer i'm gonna go wireless so here comes uh, 192.168.1.6. There's my MAC address of my uh, printer. I'm going to go next. I'm going to go installing network printer and you get this big red X. And you're going to sit there and be like, what the hell? You're going to go over here to hit, click help. You're going to go through all these processes. You're going to download a bunch of bullshit from HP. And you're going to be like, what the heck's going on? Why can't I install my printer? Um, driving me insane. <clears throat> And then even if you get it installed, like you can get it installed, and I'm gonna show you how right now. But first, I'm gonna X this out because it's like worthless. I have Windows um, 8.1. I'm just gonna end the task. Get rid of this. Um, okay, well this is clam because you're like you, know, you have Windows 8.1, but what the hell do you gotta do? Doing with start menu. This is actual uh, program I installed that makes. Windows 7 start menu come back. So I'm going to go over to Windows uh, 8.1 menu <clears throat> settings control panel. Open it up. Hardware and sound. Device and printers. Don't load. I don't know why it's taking so long to load on. I got nothing really going. So as I can go here, I do not have a printer set up right now. I'm gonna go to add printer. Uh, this would be the easiest way to install the printer without problems. So I'm gonna go to add printer, and it's gonna search for the printer over the network. You might have to connect um, the printer to your computer USB first. So you might have to connect it via USB first. Get that whole MAC address thing set up on your router in order for it to be able to find this right now. So once I found it, <clears throat> I click next. It's blah blah blah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace the current driver. I don't know why it's down the name class driver. I'm just gonna put that. Okay, I'm gonna share the printer. Print test page. I'm not gonna print test page because I already know the prints. So. Keep in mind that you need your um your printer IP address, and if you don't know it, you can just click on this in the control panel and go to customize your printer. And you go to your ports. 
and just go to configure port and then that's going to be your IP address right there so then um remember that you can go okay blah 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 exit out of this I can exit out the control panel now and what you do in your web browser depending on what web browser you have just go to um, 192.168.1.6 so whatever your IP address of your printer is, if you're click that, it's just like accessing your router. As if you're accessing your printer page, printer home page. I don't need to go through this. And this is pretty much. I'm guessing this is built into every HP printer out there, but I don't know why they don't tell you this in the instruction manual. I mean, if they might. I don't know. I didn't read the instruction manual. <laughs> but um. In order to be able to scan over your network wirelessly, you're going to overgo to settings here. Oh, and I, oh, okay. Evidently, I, I have a password. I already set it up. I don't know. I must like store it in the actual printer. So I set this up already. <clears throat> but then you're going to want to go down to settings. I think it's going to tell you to um, install a password if you haven't done this yet. I see that you need to see this message again. Yeah, for some reason, the website's security, security certificate's bad. I don't know why. I use a fucking printer. So, I'll start on my language. Let's go to my language. Here we go. So, you're going to click settings. You're going to go down here to administrator, administrator settings. You're going to click on that. It's going to load it up. <clears throat> you want to make sure web scan is enabled. This is not enabled. You're not going to be able to scan over the network. Uh, watch out. I'll disable it real quick just to show you. We'll see if I'm able to scan. Okay, I'm going to go to scan. See, you're going to say scan. You can now use this function because it has been disabled. So right here, even right here, it tells you how to turn on web scan. You go to settings, blah blah blah, security. Am I asking for my password again? No, it's not asking for my password. You're gonna enable it. Apply. Hmm. This is a little. Oh, this is pretty cool. I didn't know they actually had this page. I wish HP would just like blatantly tell you that this. Page is available. I had actually had a friend at my work that's in the IT department tell me about this. So, uh, and then I'm gonna start the scan. I already got something in my print, uh, printer. It's all set up. So I want to scan it for my wife. And so I'm hoping I'm helping out a lot of people by posting this video because I know I was sitting around. I wasted half a day. And was just so frustrated and angry that I couldn't scan over a wireless network because of this. But as you can see, I can save the picture now. Do my um, photos. I'll go in my photos. I already have it saved. Oh, there it is. There's the actual photo. That's something my wife uh, drew. So uh, there we go. Uh, let me see if I can actually uh, call your printer status. Get your printer status. Wireless setup wizard. But um, this is how you're gonna scan from now on. You're actually go to. You're gonna type in this. Um, your IP address of your uh, printer. And then go to your scan thing, and that's how you scan. In order to print, you're gonna have to, uh, you know, just do the control P or whatever. If I want to print something, it's gonna print. Or you can actually go. With to your um, control panel, click on the printer settings and print that way. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, thanks. Hope I helped out a lot of you people. I know this helped me out, and I just I just had to post it because <laughs> this just pissed me off. But um, thanks again. Bye.